What a night. The worst. We got clobbered. Uh, uh, oh, guys. I had this awful nightmare. There was this hurricane. It was a big one. Our tree got blown down, and we were homeless. You weren't dreaming, buddy. Our tree took a dive. We gotta find a new place to live. That tree over there will do. Let's go. Guess this'll do. I don't know. Looks a lot like our old tree, and I've had it with trees. A little gust of wind and they fall flat. Yeah, trees are for the birds. I say we get an upscale condo on South Beach. With jacuzzis. And tanning beds. Hey, who's there? I heard you talking. You three are sadly misinformed about the beneficial properties of trees. Huh? huh? You're missing all the ways that trees are helpful. Okay, wise guy. Tell us what trees are good for, then leave us alone. Ha <laughs> ha! Leave us alone! Let's see. What are trees good for? Well, trees provide shade. I already got shades. <clears throat> In addition to providing shade, trees clean the air. And they clean water. Trees clean air and water? You heard the professor. And there are many more benefits to trees. They reduce erosion. They provide food. Shelter, a place to raise young. All right, I'm convinced. We'll live here. You guys, find stuff to build a nest. I'll supervise. No, I'll supervise from up here. Ah! Building a nest in this tree would not be a wise move. Yeah, why not? Because this is an Australian pine. I know we didn't fly that far south. The Australian pine is not conducive to aviary habitats in the United States. What? Only a bird brain would live here. I understood that. Me too. So why can't we live here? Ah! Brittle limbs. You see, this Australian pine is what's called an invasive species. Like space invaders? Well, it is certainly not from around here. You're the space invader. Oh, I'll move. Ah! An invasive species like the Australian pine spreads rapidly and crowds out local trees. Invaders and crowding out local trees eliminates food sources and homes for wildlife. And we're wildlife! And when it comes to standing up to hurricanes, an invader like the Australian pine really flops. So stay away from any invasive exotic species. That's the wrong tree. Go with a tree that is native to this area. In other words, choose the right tree. A local native tree that's from around here. In addition to picking the right tree, it must be planted in the right place. First, I'll tell you where not to plant a tree. Don't plant trees near pavement, because roots need air. Who knew that roots breathe? They do, and pavement keeps the air they need from getting in the soil. Roots that don't get air get weak. Here's what hurricanes do to trees with weak roots. And don't plant large trees near a house, because buildings block air from the soil, and... Roots need air! Don't plant in rocky soil like lime rock, because rocky soil doesn't let in air, and... Roots need air! And don't plant trees too deep. If you plant too deep, the roots won't get air, and... Roots need hair! Air! To make sure roots get air, plant trees where there's lots of room to grow. When roots have enough room, they can spread out to be two to five times the size of the crown of the tree. This anchors the tree in the ground, so hurricanes won't knock it down. Now, you know where to plant a tree. Next, here's how to plant a tree. First, check the soil. If it's wet, Plant a tree that likes wet soil. For dry soil, plant a tree that does well in a drought. Second, when transplanting a tree to a permanent location, 
trim off any roots that are girdling the trunk. If a girdling root is left alone, it will wrap around the trunk and choke the adult tree. This makes it weak and more likely to get knocked down by a hurricane. Third, dig a hole that's two to three times wider than the root ball. Fourth, when you plant a tree, the root at the top of the ball must be slightly above the dirt. Remember, if you plant too deep, the roots won't get air. Fifth, make sure the tree is straight. Sixth, fill the hole halfway with soil. Then water the tree, and then fill in the hole. And seventh, add mulch, but keep it one foot from the trunk to avoid rot. Follow those steps, and the tree you plant will stand up to hurricanes. And plant trees in groups so they'll protect each other in a hurricane. Trees that stick, stick together, together stand, stand up to harsh weather. weather. So now you know how to plant the right tree in the right place. But after that, the tree has to be correctly pruned. I'm not partial to prunes. They make me run, and I'm not very athletic. He's not talking about fruit. He's talking about how to trim a tree. Trees should be pruned by a certified arborist or forester. When pruning a tree, there are three things to avoid. First of all, no topping. Topping means clipping the top off a tree. Don't do it. Topping makes the tree spread out horizontally like an umbrella, so it catches the wind and gets blown over by hurricanes. Here's the second thing to avoid. Am I seeing double? Sometimes trees grow two trunks, which makes the tree weak. While the tree is young, it should be pruned so it has one strong trunk instead of two weak ones. The third thing to avoid when pruning is lion's tails. This happens when branches on the inside of the tree are cut, which leaves long, skinny branches that look like lion's tails. When a hurricane hits, trees with lion's tails get knocked down, or their branches break. I'm not living with lion's tails. Sounds like big cats to me. You heard cats? Where? Could we focus here? It's your fault. You keep showing us all these lame trees. And we still need a place to live. Fortunately, I know of a tree that will make a perfect home for you three. Let's go. This live oak tree has everything you need. It's the right tree in the right place. It's the right tree because it's a native tree. And it's in the right place with lots of room for the roots to spread out and breathe. Because roots need air and room to grow. And it's part of a group which helps it stand up to hurricanes. And this tree has been pruned the right way. No topping. It has one strong trunk and absolutely no lion's tails. What lion? Where? Now that you've learned how trees can stand up to storms, here are three things you can do to help trees. First, if there is already a tree in your yard, make sure it is pruned properly with one strong trunk and no topping or lion's tails. Second, Plant a native tree like me, following the steps in this movie. Plant your tree in the right place. Remember that roots need air. And provide the right amount of water and mulch. Third, teach others how to care for us trees, just like you've learned in the movie. Will you promise to take these steps to help trees in your neighborhood?